This is not New York. This can go on for several months, okay? We all have to now confront that that is a new reality. That is not going to change. You're not going to turn on the news tomorrow morning and and they're going to be surprised, surprised. This is all now resolved in two weeks. That is not going to happen. This is New York City. A city that is home to nearly nine million people. A city that never sleeps, never gives up, and never falters. World champions for the 27th time. As New Yorkers, living every day with racing minds and passionate hearts. This isn't the first time we've been knocked down, and it won't be the last time. America today is on bended knee in prayer for the people whose lives were lost here, for the workers who work here, for the families who mourn. This nation stands with the good people of New York City. If there's anything I've learned about this city, is that when we fall, we stand up stronger. And I have no doubt it will come to pass, as surely as the sun will rise tomorrow. And while this fall has hurt a lot, we still manage to come together. It isn't the CEOs and the billionaires and the politicians on the front line. No, it's our nurses, our policemen and women our grocery store employees, our delivery guys, our fellow New Yorkers doing their part to fight this fight. New Yorkers should be proud of the fact that your efforts are working. You are the heroes here. Stick with the shelter in place. Stick with the social distancing. Double down on it. Uh, That's the best way for us to overcome this virus. We are not this virus. We are not COVID-19. We don't let our falls define us. We let our comebacks do it. We are New Yorkers. We do extraordinary things all the time, don't we? So let's do something extraordinary again. Let's not just bend the status quo, let's break it. Let's break it and create a city that really is for everyone and will be for generations to come. Let's go save our city. Thank you. This is New York City, the comeback city.